Hello guys, today we're going to see how to make good slides, not great, but good slides with very minimal efforts. So without talking much details, let me show you how you can do it. So I have a PowerPoint. So here I have a new PowerPoint open. So I'm going to select the blank presentation. So when you're creating a presentation or making a PowerPoint, make sure you don't put um, many of the text in one slide because your audience are here to listen to you rather than reading some article. If they want to read some article, they would go to some website and read that article. So the first concept is put very minimal text. So how you can do it? So most of the time you can use uh, this type of slides where you give the title. Let's say if our title is make good as a title, we're going to see say that uh, make good slides with very minimal effort. Something like this. So after uh, putting those text, you could add animations if you want. So if you want to add any any animation to any object. You just go to the animation panel and select that object. After selecting that object from this menu, you can choose any of the animation that you like. So most of the time, I really like that fade animation, which just fade the text. And if you just play it, if you, you will see that the animation fade in. So after showing this one, if I want to show this one, I put again click on the fade effect so if I just run my slide again so you'll see that first the make good slide come and next the next uh, description came in you can also modify those by uh, or the arranging the order of animation by going to this option move later or move earlier or or you could use the animation pen in the animation pen you could do anything if you have multiple of animations let me make some uh, more animations with it so let me go to next slide and let's say I have few topics let's say hello world and let's say I have a couple of this and I want to have a fade-in effect with all of those uh, words so how can we achieve that if you don't have uh, automatically after selecting the fade in, you just go to the effects option and then choose the by paragraph. So by paragraph means every enter you press will have animation, fade animation or what type of animation you choose will be effect on that paragraph. So if I choose fly in, all of those will have the same effect. Since I'm choosing the by paragraph, by paragraph means each line or whenever you put the enter in front of the uh, before text so if you want something different something like that so some of the animations have more options like coming from left uh, left to right so on and now if you just go to the animation pen you will see that there are four animations but these are group animations so if i put another animation let's say the text here hello world differently so if I have another text and in this text if I use this wipe animation so in this option if I just make it a little bit bigger let's say I have two of those since I have two of those the two animation so whatever animation you have let's say you if you have five animation one on one object in one object and if if you copy paste that object, you will have the same repeated animation in your copied object. So, as you can see, that there are uh, other uh, animations besides this group animation. So now you can uh, change those order by putting the group uh, from this position to this position, or you could also add uh, those items inside the group. Let's say you want to show the sixth item after the third one. So how can you do that? You just put it in the group. That's it. So 
if I run now, you'll see that the third item, so the first item run first, then you'll see the third item, and then you'll have this animation. And then the rest of those will come. So something like that. So now you have the idea that how the animation pin works and how you can modify it. So there are some many features like um, you could use if you go to this panel you choose you could choose that start with previous if you choose that you don't have to click on it so you will see that animations have something like the mouse cursor sign so when you, when you have that it means that you have to click on the mouse or on keyboard uh, to show that animation but if you don't have that that means if the first one run next one will appear automatically so let me give you an uh, overview of this so if i just put it any click all those run uh, simultaneously so they run simultaneously because the time frames are same if you want the different time frames what you can do is move those after one after another something like this so if i want the uh, hello world differently as with the first one I just keep it as it is something like this so if I run it you'll see some different animation so whatever times you put it will run for that time so let's say if I give uh, 3.4 seconds on this animation the first one takes very long to come in so you could modify those by using this timing option. You could also add sound. So if you uh, want to have some sound in your um, in your slides, you can add those from these options. And there are options that you could browse through your uh, computer and add some sound. So if I just add those, you'll see that there are some arrow sounds. Uh, with those uh, words coming in. Now, if you want to add, let's say, multiple animation to one object, let's say this one, I want to have this one multiple animation. How can you do that? If you choose any one, any other, it will change to that animation, that effect. So, how can you add multiple animation at the same time? Let's say I want to have a, a fade in effect with so you could change to fade fade out if you want so choose the red ones are the out so that means it will go out so in this case we want to show the thing in the display so we're choosing the fade in so in the fade in let's say i want to add any, any more options to the animation so let's say i want to have uh the color, the font color should be changed to, let's say, red. So I choose the red and uh, choose the color, font color, and then choosing it to red. So now, if you just click on it, you'll see that there are two animations placed with this object. So if you, if you want, you could minimize those. You could also change those timelines so that the animation come later after the first one shows up or you could pick uh, both at the same time so it will fade in and also change the color so you want to whatever you want you can do from this animation panel so let's say I want to add another effect I want to make it bold so I'm going to add and again I'm going to select the bold flash so it will flash it as a bold and just give it a little bit more time. So yeah, if I just run it again, see that the animation. So this one, since uh, this one should have with the previous because we're doing it with the hello world with differently. So put the hello world with differently before so that we have a decent animation. Or we could uh, manipulate it very easily. So we want this. And so the clicks are really confusing. So 
I should put one click after this. Okay, so yeah. So in previously when I was putting the clicks, so it was really showing very fast because there was no uh, command with the click. So I had to put the on click option to start the animation. So let's see how we can add uh, objects to our slide. So if you want to add smart objects, you just go to the smart art icon and uh, select uh, any of the smart object that you like. So let's say I want to display this. So I just put it here. So let's say I put it in the next slide. So rather than putting it here, so how can you add a new slide? You could just click on new slide or what you can do is copy the previous one if you want copy and paste and or you could just right click it and say duplicate slide or you could go to the new slide option and choose any of the template that you like you could also modify those templates if you like so in my case I'm choosing the blank so in this black blank one I'm going to put some graphs and some smart arts because smart arts the, uh, are the way to show users something creative um, and in previous world let's say 1994 we really want to say something in text but in modern world we want to display images and images say more than uh, many words and many paragraphs so try to put good uh, images, good graphs, which make sense to the user because uh, uh, it makes all the things easier for everyone, for you and for your users, everyone. So let's say I want to add, uh, let's say this animation, this smart art, and there are many of the smart arts and these are very good. So what I do is you go to this option and I choose uh, whatever, uh, the option or what, whatever the gradients uh, impress me, I choose one of those. So whatever uh, impresses you, choose that one and then go to the color and choose the color that suits you or suits for your presentation. So many of the presentations have some image capabilities. So if you click on, double click on it, you, you could add some image to those uh, boxes and if you want to say something, let's say item one, item one, and in next, I'm saying item uh, two, and third one, I'm saying item three. So if you want to add more items, just put enter and it will create that item. Okay, so if you want to have uh, nested items, something like that, you you press enter and press tab to have an nested item. And if you want to remove that nested item and have it back to as a list, you should put, uh, press shift and tab. That's it. As you can see that uh, DW is now as a separate item. So if I want to have it as a sub item, I just put tab. And if I want to give it back, I just put shift and tab. That's it. So, Many of the options are similar to this, and if you want to uh, modify those or customize those, you can do this. You could really uh, make this size bigger, and in this thing, you, you can also move those objects, something like this. So whatever pleases you, you can do that. And these are also grouped objects. You could uh, ungroup those and uh, you could do some custom modification, but if you do that, uh, your uh, this sequential or uh, this relation will be break, and you, you will be on your own to fix that list or fix that uh, graphics item. So you could do that, and let's say you want to add uh, something like boxes, custom boxes. So how can you do that? You could go to this uh, uh, circle boxes, or you could just go from this shapes so whatever pleases you the shapes and this one are the same thing so from here let's say I want to have a box like this and I want this box to select some text let's say I have a text hello world and I want to select that 
hello world by this box. So I really want to have something like this. So I really don't want to have the background color. So how can I do that? I go to the format. And in the format, I could choose something from like this, or I could customize this from these options. So these options represent everything of this uh, object. So if I choose the uh, sorry fill color to uh, no fill, it will have no background at all. So if you, if I want any uh, let's say any border or outline, I just select the uh, outline color. And if I don't want any outline, select no outline. And if I want to have a good weight on the outline, I just select something from the list. And then. If I want to have some dashes in my outline, I could also do that. So again, after doing that, what I can do is give it some animation. Let's say I want to have an animation. So let's say I split one. It was really nice. So I just go click on it. It will split. But at the same time, I also want two animations. So let's say I want it to be grow. At the same time, so what I can do is select the grow option, or let's say the grow or more option. Yeah, move from the more option. I'm gonna see select the zoom. Okay, so let's see the how the zoom reacts. So you could just play here and see the real life that what it's doing so you could also change the time limits or again the things that doesn't satisfy your need you could also change that and again if you want to have the object color change you could select the object color and you could select any color which pleases you so you could do something like this so if I run this animation now, you'll see that the box, the three animation will be played separately. But if I want to have this, all the animations at the same time, I just uh, cl click on the start with previous. And when I'm in the slide, I just click on a button and everything will appear at once. So if I want to modify the times, I could do that by changing the time frames and everything that I have taught before, something like this, something like this. So whatever makes you happy, you can do it. And all the tricks and trips I have shown you with a very minimal effort and very short time. So another thing you could do is uh, when you are uh, moving back from one slide to another, you could add uh, transitions with the slides. So you could go to the transitions and when you pick a slide, just select any of the transitions that really uh, make you happy. If you want the push transition, which is very friendly to me, or I really like it a lot. So from this push transition, you could also select that, where should it push? So in the next one, I really want to have a fade effect. Let's say in the first one, I want to have a split effect. So split really, uh, so let's say we have a wipe effect. So since the uh, things in the slide does not show up at the first time, so you're not seeing that back. So let me put a none here because there are already effects on the text before showing it. So let's say I want to have a wipe effect here. You'll see that the how wipe effect works. Or you could also select the reveal. Or if you like, you could select any of the 3D animations that pleases you. So uh, let's say I want to put a 3D animation, uh, this one, something like this. So whatever that pleases you, you could choose. And you could also change the time duration from here. So if you want less time to show up, you just select that, and it will come up very fast. Finally, I am Alimul Karim. You could reach me, alim at developers-organism.com, or you could also visit our website, developers-organism.com. It is also in under construction. We make products for developers. I work for developers organism, 
and I really like it. If you want or if you like it, you can like us at fb.com slash developersorganism. Thank you.